Warning. All displays of negativity will be deliciously repackaged and properly returned to sender. Only good vibes allowed beyond this point. Now if you're ready, come on in. I feel like I was like so like angry and I like went through the <laughs> and I was just like so fucking sad and I was like so hurt and I feel like so betrayed and I feel so stupid like I was so fucking mad and I was so sad and I was so I'm so angry. I'm so angry that like, like they need to go live their life. And my life is ruined. And now I have two kids to take care of. So I had a baby doctor appointment. And it was a different doctor that I was to see. And she was like, I don't know. She was like very like thorough in her questioning. Like she was asking me about like pediatricians and stuff for like when the new baby comes. And then she's like, "Is dad gonna be there in the delivery room?" And I was like, "No." And then, but I was like, I wasn't crying. I was just like, "No." And she was like, "Is dad going to be with your five year old?" This is just like the normal doctor. Like they don't normally question you. And I was like, "No, I have somebody else." And she was like, well, who's going to be there? And I'm like, a doula? Like, I'm like paying somebody to like be in the hospital with me. So I'm not alone. <laughs> and she's like, so is the dad not involved? And, like, all this stuff. and I'm like, no, the dad's actually in Mexico fucking somebody. In winter school, they need me to get a protective order against Chris um so that so that he can't contact her at school and I go there and I go to the courthouse like I drive all the way there and it's like right after the baby appointment and I get the protective order and the lady's like like in this room and she's like oh what's his name and I was just like I can't do this I like stood up and laughed. I was like, I need to do the paperwork at home if I decide to do it. <laughs> because as much as like I fucking hate him, if I got if I got a protective order against him because he's a habitual offender because he was in jail, like he'll get arrested and he could go to jail for 15 years. And it's like I don't want that. Like even though you ruined my life, like even though. Everything is like so fucked up and like you get to go fucking fuck somebody in fucking Mexico and and go on any trip you want and like do anything you want. I still don't want you to go to jail. And it's like I just don't want you in my life. I don't want you in my kids' lives. Like I fucking hate you. I hate you. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, it's like and, 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 like, I could be fucking bitter and say, like, I have two kids now that I have to take care of. Like, I can't date. I can't date. When am I going to have kids in my house with my two daughters? I'm going to, like, have a boyfriend in my house with my kids, my daughter who can't fucking talk? Like, no. <laughs> it's like, you're going to live your fucking life. I have like, I have him blocked everywhere. I don't even like know his number at this point. And I, I unblocked his number and I called him and he didn't answer. But I, I called him because I wanted to say like, look, I don't want to get like, I don't want to get a protective order against you. I just don't want you to come to my house. I don't want you to go to the girls' school. I don't want you to like, just come near us. Like I'm just, like I, like I'm afraid he's gonna break into my house and kill me and take winter and take the baby. It's like, it's like, why am I, it's like, why did I pick this person to have a baby with? 
twice, twice. <laughs> and it's like they don't feel bad. They don't feel bad with it. What's also like so fucked up and so sad is that like like I can care about everybody. Like even like strangers, I can care about everybody. But like nobody cares about me. <laughs> what was that? I went to so I got like a panic attack. So I went into TJ back just so I could like walk around and I wasn't driving and I went to the bathroom and there was like a line and like this woman was like, oh no, you go ahead of me. And I was like, thank you. And, like this random woman respected the fact that I'm pregnant more than the father of my child. Like, I just don't understand, like, how I could love this person and live with this person and this person could do this to me. <laughs> What's going on, Champagne Gang? We're not going to be in here long, but I jumped in real quick for a little sip, saver, and spiel. I actually had this video sitting in the archives, so I said, let me go ahead and finish this video so I can get it released. Now, this has to do with a young lady that used to be on Bad Girls Club. And y'all, I couldn't tell y'all half of the girls from Bad Girls Club. I couldn't tell you who half of them were if they were staring me right in the face. <laughs> I promise I couldn't. That's how long it's been since I've seen this show. But the way her tears tore at my heart, tore clean, because I've been here, y'all have probably been here, and if her tears did not make you feel something, then you're part of the problem of what's wrong with this world. Said it, won't take it back. We just did the video talking about how is it a flex to steal another woman's dude. Number two, you can't steal something that never truly belonged to someone. But number one, this is the pain you cause. And some of y'all are so sick, demented, twisted. You rejoice when you cause pain like this. And then you want the world to rally around you when it's your turn to feel the fight. I don't see her color. All I see is her pain all while she's pregnant. But this goes to show us that we have to pick better. We do. So we don't end up like this. When we start the managing your ship segment of our Wellness Waves Wednesdays, then you'll understand a little bit better because we've got to start taking the time to vet these individuals that we are talking about spending the rest of our lives with. We do. Y'all better start asking some questions. Nah, I'm not talking about the what positions do you like. Nah, baby. I mean, when was your last relationship? How did it end? If all they can say is things that were wrong with the other person, baby, run like hell. If they can't take accountability regarding their ex, they for damn sure aren't going to take it regarding you. They're not. I say, and I'll say it, and I'll say it again until y'all get it. Y'all better know your worth and then add tax. Stop tossing your heart up just because you tossed your ass up. That's how we get messed up in the first place. And I'm not saying that's what she did. I'm telling you not to do it. And y'all better check those frenometer gauges because this was her friend. The only person you are supposed to be able to trust your innermost secrets with outside of your significant other. But y'all don't know how to be friends anymore. You don't. Y'all idea of friendship and loyalty blows me. Y'all get mad and blast each other's business all over Beyonce's enter of the net and China's World Wide Web. The same way y'all need to vet these ninjas that's leaving y'all on the verge of the next episode of Snap for my man and fatal attractions. That's the same way you need to vet these so-called friends because they are backdooring y'all faster than y'all ops. She at home pregnant and he off in another country with her so-called friend. And she only found out because of a motorcycle accident that her family posted. So her family knew this was going on too. And y'all wonder why the world has trust issues. Because of situations like this. And because of people like this that just don't give a damn. Y'all better learn how to guard your hearts, as the Bible says, with all diligence. Because out of it flows the issues of life. Again, I say, when you learn how to love you, I mean truly love you, you'll deflect anything that doesn't reflect that love.
that's all I have for this one. Confidence. Always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink till we meet again. Ta-ta.